Hey, this is Will from True Geekified, and I am going to show off, because I couldn't find very many video reviews, the Agromax Large Grow Tent. Uh, I picked this up from HTG, or High Tech Growers, I think, Supply, here in uh, Denver. Uh, they're actually in Commerce City. Great little store. Uh, it was 209 plus tax out the door. Uh, the guys in the store are pretty awesome, so they gave me a little bit of a discount, saved a little bit of money. But uh, you can walk in the store, they almost always have these in stock. And so I have set it up out in my garage. A, uh, just to make sure I knew how to set it up because where it's going in my basement is very tight. And so I wanted to make sure how it would go together. And also because I wanted to kind of show it off because I have not seen very many reviews. So let's uh, kind of go over. It came in a box just like this one here. Okay. Uh, all the poles were very nice and wrapped in bolts. Uh, the same thing, plastic here, and uh, they were clipped together with these little black plastic clips so that they wouldn't uh, rattle around. I thought that was a neat little added touch. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of the box because this here is a very nice carrying bag made out of the same material as the rest of the tent. Uh, very sturdy handles. And uh, the outer part of the tent and the floor liner and these pieces were all inside of this. And so I'll just keep that uh, and get rid of the box. So inside of the box were all the poles and the tent that you see set up already. Also, it comes with these covers. Uh, these will go over those open ports. Uh, right now they're set for eight inches uh, when you put these little guys over. Uh, and it reduces the whole size. Let me see if I can pull oh, look at that. There we go. Down to six inches. And so you can mix and match, have six and eight inch holes, or not use them at all and just cover them up. Uh, pretty simple set of directions. Put the poles together, which the poles are nicely labeled and perfectly match the directions. Uh, and so, yeah, you just uh, put the corner pieces in. Do, 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 do. All right. I uh, had some uh, stay dry stuff in there. So this is the bottom pan liner. I'm not going to install that right now. But again, same thick material that the tent is made out of. Uh, top has a, an extra little stitching over it. What was really cool is the corners are, are like quadruple folded on themselves. And so I don't think water can get out of that. It looks like it's all, like this seam here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a ton of stitches and it's got that backing on it. And so I don't think this would leak. You could probably fill it all the way up. Uh, I'm not willing to try it out right now, but I have seen people talk about filling it up. So the inside of the tent, all of the poles connections are with the little quick release pin things, even halfway up the pole, which is fantastic. If you've ever set up a tent before, the cheap tent that I have downstairs right now, these are not connected together. I ended up taping them because when you're trying to wrestle the tent fabric over it, that comes apart, falls on you, uh, and then you get upset. So uh, every part of the frame, clicks together. Another nice feature that I like about this tent that it has four top supports uh, in the large, which is close to five by five, four and a half-ish feet by four and a half. Having four poles up here crossed like that is incredible. Uh, you see the pictures on their website and everything of like two or three dudes hanging from this. I feel like I could hang from it. I tried a little. Uh, I just don't want to break it and it flexes. It's not going to come apart, but anyway, uh, another cool thing. You've got the through holes again right now, eight inch directly across. So if you've got a closed uh, ventilation for your lighting, uh, you could also come in from the top into your lighting and then back out. Uh, I'm going to actually kind of use a combination just because of where this is getting squeezed into. I'll have to use one of the side ones and one of the top ones. 
Uh, so this is the big main door on the front. Uh, there's the side view doors that you can open up. Uh, along the back here, you've got your vents. Which, uh, you can Velcro up to uh, the other piece. The Velcro on this stuff is very stiff uh, and it's very secure. Once you put it on there, I mean, that's just to hold it up is pretty secure. Uh, I'm assuming this is for running either your you know, hydro hydroponic lines or electrical wires or whatever. Uh, you can just seal it. There's a Velcro to put that through. You can also see a lot of these have holes, uh, as far as I understand. Uh, that's designed so you can actually put like th the uh, flush mount through wall couplings, metal couplings, and directly screw that in through the tent. Uh, I don't know if I'll use that. That's kind of nice. Uh, got another double flanged looking uh, standard drawstring port there. Uh, what is that? Six inch? Yeah, so six inch port down there, and then your eight inch, and then you got another small little four inch up here. And so again, I'm only going to be using uh, probably that one down there for wires and whatnot, and then to the in and out. Uh, but the outside of it, the main door, I love this feature. Uh, has a little, a little strap, so to hold it open. I do that. Uh, I haven't played with the, the zippers on the rest of it yet. The zippers for this are very smooth compared to your. Oh, and as I say that, I get stuck. Let me see. So main door zips up very nicely. Very nice little stencil. Viewing window. I did not buy this for the viewing window. I could really care less. But it is nice. I was looking at it. It's, it's thick. I mean, this material is... And then the Velcro again. I was looking at it from the inside. Uh, I've got this light right here shining right at it. I zipped it up as well as I could from the inside. And uh, I couldn't see any light coming in around the, the viewing window. So it's a... Uh, it's pretty nice. So for 200 ish, low 200 dollars out the door, uh, you know, with taxes and everything, it's a definitely nice. This was one of the things I was talking to the guy in the store. They had one set up. Uh, the cheap tent that I've got downstairs, you come up to the side and you push on it, and I can push it almost to the middle. It's a four foot tent, and this will go two and a half feet in, two feet in. So uh, this one, I mean, you can see there's obviously dip, it's fabric, but it's so much less so that when I have that negative pressure uh, with the fans, it won't suck in as much. So anyway, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, uh, probably do a follow up once I actually have all of my equipment. I Tomorrow I'll be swapping this one out. I'm gonna let it off gas out of here a little. It's not terribly stinky, uh, but there's, you know, that definite fabric and glue smell. So I'm going to let it sit out here all day today and tomorrow. And then I'll swap the tents out and uh, do another quick little video uh, and show it off with everything hooked up and my uh, ladies growing in it. So anyway, that's all for now. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.